Welcome to the Manifesting Latina podcast, where you'll learn to unlock your incredible power of manifestation and connect deeply with yourself. I'm Dr. Norma Reyes, your guide and host, helping you manifest a life filled with purpose, abundance, and inner wisdom. Together, we'll dive into the art of manifestation, practical techniques, personal growth, and the magic of aligning with your deepest desires. No more feeling stuck or disconnected. It's time to awaken your inner manifester. Embrace your spirituality and create a life that truly resonates with your soul. Tune in each week to the Manifesting Latina podcast and begin to manifest your dream life. Hey everyone, welcome back. This episode is all about how to use love to manifest. And I'm so excited about this episode because I'm sharing something that I've known intuitively for a while, but I hadn't had the words for it quite yet, which is so interesting because I am such a logical person. I am so in my mind all the time and always thinking, thinking I have to blame my Gemini rising for that. And of course, being a Sagittarius is all about big picture and thinking. So manifesting with love and how to use love to manifest. This may sound really out there for some people, but stick with me. And hopefully by the end of the episode, you can understand what I mean by love, like manifesting with love. And this isn't using love in a negative way, but being in the energy of love, of unconditional love. So I'll start with in, in, let's say 19 something. In 2019, I had my spiritual reawakening after having my second son. And in that time, I began reconnecting with myself. I read so many books during that time, so many books, like 50 something books. And I was really, really feeding my soul and navigating that space. And I remember coming back from a turning leave into my nine to five job. I was a clinical manager for a Fortune 500 company. And I just remember showing up so bright and shiny and going and talking to people like I just wanted to share this energy that I had with me and I want everybody to know about it and I was walking around and doing all of these things that many people thought I was really weird I had wanted to go and do motivational speaking and so this was late 2019 and early 2020 before what happened happened with COVID, but I had come back into the office and I was like, oh, I want to practice doing motivational speaking. And I actually had this giant pencil that my dad had given me a few uh, years before when he had gone to Vegas, he had brought a giant pencil. He had given it to one of the kids. They didn't really care about it. I thought it was really cool. And now I'm like, where the heck is my pencil? <laughs> I think I know where it is. I'm going to find it. And so I was walking around with this pencil, like it was a mic and I would ask people questions and put, put the pencil in their face, right? And so I was walking around in the office. I stopped into one of these training rooms and I had talked to one of the gentlemen there who was training one of his, his classes. And, and I was like, Oh, you know, I want to be a motivational speaker because he had asked me why I was walking with the pencil. And so I explained that was why. And he's like, well, go ahead, practice. And I did not expect that, but I was also still in my very high frequency of love and energy. And I went in there and I was like, hey, everyone, I introduced myself. I let them know that I was really motivated and wanting to inspire people. And that one day I would like to do a TED Talk, right? I had one person asked and say, like, what's a TED Talk? And the whole class, like, laughed and, you know, we're like, what? You don't know what a TED Talk is? A TED Talk is da 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 da. And I was like, when I do a TED Talk, which by the way, I have not done a TED Talk yet. I said, when I do a TED Talk, you're invited. And so I need to remember that gentleman's name. I know I wrote it down because it was so impactful and meaningful. And he was really excited. And that's what inspirational speaking is all about, right? Like inspiring, even if it's just one person. So that is being in the energy of love. Right. And so there's so many different ways that I was sharing this energy, this 
bright and bubbly energy. I remember hopping on Clubhouse and sharing my beliefs about fear and love. For those of you that don't know what a Clubhouse is, it was an app. It's still an app. It's still going on. That's only audio at the time. I think now there might be other things there. But at the time, it was mostly audio and people could get on there and talk. So I was actually talking to a group of my coach friends, mastermind friends about how love and leaning into love can help you manifest. So then I thought, oh, I need to share this with my podcast audience on how love can really help you manifest. And it can also help you know when you're not in high vibration. So after having my spiritual reawakening, if you've had it, you may understand this energy of like, you just want to shout it on the rooftops. You feel so bright and shiny. You are so happy. Nothing can bring you down. Somebody can cut you off and you're just like, have a great day. Hope everything's okay. You know, that kind of energy, just pouring love out of you. Just so happy. You know, and if you are like, I don't know what that would feel like. Think if you won the lotto right now, like really feel it. Like you won the lotto. What would that feel like? Right. All of your worries just kind of melting away. You willingly want to give and help anyone you possibly can. So that is the kind of love that I'm talking about. Not the romantic kind of love or conditional love or transactional love, but this pure joy, love that comes from just unadulterated, unconditional love where you just want to give and you don't care who you're giving to. You're not judging them. They're not, they don't have to give you anything back. You're not expecting anything back. And you're just like, oh my goodness, like, I just want everybody to be happy. I just want to be happy you know, anything they do. So like I said, you may or may not have experienced this type of love before. A lot of us have just felt a lot of like transactional love, even with our parents at times. But if you haven't felt it, definitely work on meditations, doing meditations that help you embody love, the feeling of love. That's not what I would suggest. And so how can you turn love into your ability to manifest, right? So Love is one of the highest vibrations in the universe. So when you tune into love, feelings of love, gratitude, and appreciation, you are raising your energetic frequency. Like even as I talked about this story, it's like you could feel my positive energy rising. You can hear my smile. So that positive energy aligns you with the abundance of the universe, making it easier for you to attract your desires. Again, also when you align to your heart's desires and you connect love right that pure love with what you want to desire what you want to bring into reality you then you are beginning to operate from a place of love you're more in tune with what brings you joy and fulfillment right like I literally was walking around with a pencil a giant giant pencil because I wanted to do motivational speaking and even if I never do a TED talk I did that motivational speech to these new employees maybe it shifted their reality on what to expect on this employer right maybe it sparked something within them that hadn't been sparked before so when you align with love it's easier to be and step into that alignment allows you to set intentions and manifest them from a place of authenticity and clarity like i gotta tell you guys i didn't think about i didn't have any self-doubt i like literally like a snap and i'm like yes right and part of it was because i created that momentum for myself i created that reality i created that opportunity by walking around with a giant pencil i knew people would ask me why are you walking with this pencil why do you have that pencil and then that's you know i went and said that so maybe i'll start doing that again walking around with the giant pencil and so now when you're using love it can help you be expansive it can help you be in abundance it can help change your mindset from one of to love than one from lack right because if you're in a mentality of lack if you're focusing on what you don't have rather than what you do have then you can't manifest more abundance but if you are in a mindset of love it can help you attract more abundance so the universe source god whatever you call it right Love is a universal force that connects you to that. It connects you to everyone. 
when you tap into the feeling of love, you're opening yourself to the flow of the universe. This allows for synchronicities, opportunities, and manifestations to come to you so effortlessly because you are just vibrating at this high level of love. And this is why some people like being around children because they can be so joyful. They're just thinking about what's going to make them happy. They're not worried about what they look like. They're not worried about what anyone else is going to think. And so being in that universal force of love, you are going to be vibrating higher. So another way that you can also use love is using love against fear, right? Fear and resistance. When you're approaching manifesting from a place of love, you can dissolve fear-based thoughts, limiting beliefs that might be blocking you from manifesting. Love empowers you to trust the process and surrender to divine timing. Now, before anyone thinks like, how do I do this? And maybe you're finding it difficult to be in that energy. And the thing is, you don't have to do it all day, but you can start practicing it a few times a day so that you can just be in that. I will say when I was in that spiritual reawakening phase and reading books and meditating and really, really, really tuned in, I was able to stay in that frequency a lot longer. And now that I'm still doing all of those things, but it's like anything else, right? That feeling can wear off. So don't think that love, this type of like energy and love, that if you can't sustain it, I don't want to say that it's not possible to sustain it at that level. I do think that it is. It's just that, you know, life challenges will come and they will make you not feel in that place. And so like the flip side of it is one way that I know that I'm not in that energy and not in that frequency is that if somebody cuts me off, I'm going to be upset. If someone doesn't take their turn at the four way stop sign, I'm going to be upset and really, you know, say what you got to (laughs) say, let it out as long as it's not road ragey. If it's road ragey, maybe you need to go talk to someone, but I get it, you know, Sometimes somebody doesn't wait their turn at the four-way stop sign or they cut off a turn. That's the thing that gets me so annoyed. I'm like, why? Why do you have to cut off the turn? You know, it's so unsafe. Anyway, there's just something in me. Maybe it's fear of being run over. I won't go into that. We'll just not talk about that. But that happened. Even that, as I talk about it, I just think it's funny, right? I'm laughing about it. And no, like those moments are going to happen where something just upsets you recalibrate right and be like oh i gotta recalibrate i am stepping into a different energy and that's not the energy i want to be in right don't judge yourself don't be mad just be like it's it's time to shift the energy time to shift the energy right and what was i thinking about what was keeping me in this energy shift of lower vibration and how can i bring myself back up and remind yourself and hey maybe you can just think of that as the universe's way of telling you hey wake up you're in this angry zone right you're in this low vibe zone so maybe that's how i'll start using it when somebody cuts me off and i get annoyed i'll be like oh Thanks for the reminder. Sending you love and peace along your way. And I'm going to keep moving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, do what you got to do to get your vibe up. So that is how you can start to use love to help you manifest, right? And being in the vibration of love, finding ways to get yourself into that energetic alignment. You can listen to meditations, you can watch things, you can read books, you can find things on YouTube, whatever it is that you need to get you in that energy. You can watch a meditation to connect you with your heart's desire and what it would feel like, that unconditional love, all of those things. Now, fear and resistance is going to happen work through it, you know, tell yourself you can do it and remind yourself that challenges are just a way for you to grow, a lesson for you to move forward. Things that come up, they don't mean that you're in the wrong or that you've taken a wrong step or that you're not heading in the direction that you want to. Life is not perfect. Everyone has challenges, no matter what. I have challenges daily sometimes. And Even if it doesn't feel like others are having challenges or that you're the only one, know that you are not the only person with the challenge. Everyone is having challenges. It's just about how you respond to those challenges. 
Yes, I have challenges. And sometimes, yeah, they get me down. But most times I'm able to just feel like, okay, after I felt my emotions, it's important to feel your emotions. After I felt upset, after I felt, after I vented it out, then it's like, okay. And then in the, most of the time I come back and I'm like, what the heck was I so upset about? It's not even that big a deal. <laughs> So hopefully you can laugh at yourself and the way you face challenges at times when you're not feeling great. But when you are not feeling great, remind yourself like, okay, I need a reality check. I need to get back to what really matters and get into this love, this energy, this vibration that is meant to get us through life. So that is that. I will be having an episode with affirmations about love and how you can listen to the affirmations is to really help you bring back and infuse more love into your life, into your day, into how you manifest. So be looking forward to that episode. And again, I have more episodes coming up about the new moon intentions, the full moon. Those are on deck. I just haven't been able to record them quite yet. But every week I have something amazing planned out for you all to help you manifest with more ease and flow. If you are ready for one-on-one -on -one coaching, you want someone to guide you, you, want someone to keep you moving forward and inspired, think of me as your coach. You can schedule a discovery call so we can work one-on-one. -on -one. I currently have one spot open and usually each month I have about one or two open up. So if you're interested, schedule a discovery call and we can get started and set a date in the future if I don't have an opening when you schedule. So send me a DM and let me know what you think of today's episode. Leave me a review and as always, happy manifesting. Thank you for listening to the Manifesting Latina podcast. Did you love today's episode? Please help us grow by leaving a review, sharing with a friend, or on your social media. Let's spread the abundance and fun of manifesting.